This video is for testing for primary hyperparathyroidism. The primary tests for primary hyperparathyroidism are related to your calcium and your PTH level. Now many people get a calcium level drawn on an annual basis for routine blood work. However, there's not a PTH routinely drawn at the same time. When a calcium comes back elevated on that routine screening, we should then go back and repeat the blood work with a calcium and a PTH level at the exact same time. Many people who aren't experienced with this condition will order a PTH that's in a isolation from a calcium level, and that's not relevant. What's useful is finding out what the calcium level is today and the PTH level at the same time, and they should work inverse to each other. So as the calcium level goes up, the parathyroid hormone level should go down. Many people describe this as a teeter-totter or a seesaw, and that's exactly how it should work. So again, if your calcium goes up, your parathyroid hormone level should come down. If both of those are elevated, then we know that you have a problem. Other lab work that can be useful is a vitamin D level. That can be one of the most common causes of secondary hyperparathyroidism. In cases where people have a normal calcium and an elevated PTH, it's useful to have a vitamin D level. There is another test that gets done quite frequently but isn't super useful is a 24-hour urine calcium. That can be useful mostly in the cases of rolling out familial conditions where you can have high blood calcium but low urine calcium. What's important about that is it's not a surgical disease.